When a child goes to school, there are plenty of life lessons they'll learn. Character and ethics chief among them. They're embedded into every relationship and interaction, really, that a student has. But at Columbus Academy, these lessons are very intentional. In fact, it's how they do school. You know, this is an old school. The school has been shaping the characters of young men and women for over a hundred years now. That is Tim Leet, both a science hello, teacher and the hello, coordinator hello. of ethics and character at Columbus Academy. He says about seven years ago came a renewed focus to these two principles. And over the course of that time, we realized we're not really talking about uh, a standalone advisory program in character and ethics or some special assembly or a word of the month program. What we're really talking about is how we do school. And it starts with realizing there is a difference between a person's character and how they may react to a situation. Some people use those two terms interchangeably. I don't. I think of character more as the answer to the question, what kind of person are you? How do you just sort of naturally respond to situations uh, if you uh, see a kid who needs help in the hallway, something dropped out of her hands. Do you respond in a helpful way? Uh, people who do, that's just kind of who they are. I think of character as happening more in the gut and ethics happening more in the head. So let's start with character. How do you incorporate that into a lesson plan? Character formation is something that happens a little bit more subtly, you know, where ethics is really taught through the curriculum properly. Character is something that is taught through the culture of the school, primarily. Through the influence of the important people that young people, uh, kids develop relationships with. And with an eight to one student to teacher ratio, those close knit relationships are something they pride themselves on at Academy. As a small school, one of the luxuries we have is to pay close good attention to every student. Those kinds of personal relationships are so powerful in how we do school. And so are the bonds between fellow students. Take their senior kindergarten buddy program. Every student in 12th grade is given a tiny buddy on their first day of school. They do fun activities throughout the year and form lifelong relationships. It's an age-appropriate way to help even the youngest minds build character, in addition to their daily lessons in the classroom. They work on the, you know, those strong social-emotional skills. You know, how do you cooperate? Uh, you know, you're not going to set up an ethical dilemma for a five- or six-year-old. Uh, but you are going to talk about what cooperation looks like. You are going to ask that things get shared, that people take turns. Speaking of ethics, that can be a heavier burden to bear. So the school's focus is with the sophomores, an age able to face more thought-provoking situations. They are required to take the class called Ethics, Identity, and Community, although not for a grade. That's where Leet poses common teenage dilemmas. Because what's, my, what's probably my real motive for hiding the truth? You're I'm embarrassed, yeah. right? In my experience with, with high school students, uh, one of the classic dilemmas is an issue of maintaining the trust of a friend, you know, staying loyal to a friend, or uh, being honest in a situation that they've been asked about. Uh, kids feel that tension. You know, they want to be loyal and they want to be honest, and in this moment, they don't think they can be both. So they talk through scenarios like this and find a solution or maybe a couple of them, knowing that when it comes to ethics, there really isn't one right or wrong answer. I think the practice, the daily practice, the, the discipline of thinking about raising your consciousness so that when these moments happen, you recognize them for what they are, and you can act out of that best self you want to be, the better you'll sleep at night. You can learn so much more about Columbus Academy by heading to their website, columbusacademy.org, or just call their admissions office, 614-509-2220, to schedule a visit.